Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 17 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. You can see some results here um, of this game week. Uh, you can see Everton have uh, won 2-0 against Man City. That's a crucial result. Uh, Arsenal puts the pressure on as well, moving into fourth with a 3-0 victory. Of course, ooh, see, da David De Gea, is he, did he play? He did. Uh, picked up a clean sheet. Uh, all good, all good to him. Uh, but we have a game against West Brom, which you would imagine we will be able to win. Liverpool also picked up a draw away to Sunderland. Yeah, um, yeah, that was pretty disappointing. You expect them to win on their recent form this season. So if we win this, we'll only be two points away from Man City. Um, but there is pressure to win it because you can see Arsenal and Chelsea there around. Yeah, one of us, Man United. Oh, who knows? Maybe Man City if they drop. Uh, one of these big teams is not going to be playing Champions League football next season. Uh, you can see the stats as well. Van Persie, top goal scorer, equal with Mauro Zarate, uh, following Charlie Austin and Batafimi Gomez. Some yeah, unfamiliar names, uh, you would say, and from unfamiliar teams like West Ham, QPR and Swansea having top goal scorers. Um, then, yeah, average rating, Van Persie's there as well, and Di Maria most assists, but he is injured, as you know right now. He'll be back in a couple of weeks. I'm um, lucky he's not going down in attributes. That's great. If anything, he's going up. Uh, Van Persie, yeah, player of the match awards, Eek with Aguero, and yeah, clean sheets. You can see those there. Surprising that they'd go for De Gea Arsenal, honestly, when Chesney uh, seems he's doing all right, but... Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll move on now. Uh, we've got to move on from the last disappointing result against Chelsea, but away match against Chelsea, yeah, definitely that will be one of the hardest matches of the season. So, and to only lose two one, and where arguably we could have got something from the game, uh, yeah, I'm happy with the performance. So you can see if you missed uh, previous episodes, we've got players coming in. A lot of yeah, basically prospect players. Uh, you got Bakali, uh, Liali, and. Uh, Raskoldani, and they all, funnily enough, their last name ends in an I. <laughs> just a good fact that I just realized. But we do have a important game in this episode, uh, which is against West Brom at home, then Southampton actually in the Capital One Cup uh, semi-final, I think that is. We'll check that out. Capital One Cup. And, yeah, semi-final. Arsenal playing against Liverpool, so a strong chance to get into the final. That's good. Um, and, yeah, FA Cup, we're still in, obviously. We've got... Another match against Nottingham Forest. Um, as you can see there, FA Cup fourth rounds. Yeah, you can see the third round we won against Ipswich 3-0. So, yeah, we're playing against a few teams around that. Oh, yeah, I remember because we played Nottingham Forest before sometime. Yeah, it was in the Capital One Cup. So, yeah, it uh, should be a similar result, I reckon. But, yeah, for now, um, all attention going to this West Brom game. Real important. I've dropped out John Stones. I don't know. He seems prone to making errors in defense. Quite a few... Uh, can you check that out in the stats? I remember they used to have... Can you do analysis? Nah, not that. Stats. Here we go. Can you do errors? Mistakes. Number of mistakes made in the Barclays Premier League, 42. Um, they used to have mistakes that led to goals. Do they have that or not anymore? I'm not sure, but uh, I guess it's hard to judge it. You have to compare it to other teams. Does it say it here? There's a lot of... Oof, there's a lot of stuff... Oh, yeah, leading to goals. It says one lead one mistake leading to goals. So, it's still one mistake that led to a goal, but 50 mistakes. I want to compare that to someone else uh, that's played a lot. Just say Rojo. They've probably, yeah, played about the same. So, you go Rojo, reports, you go stats, and mistakes 54. Okay. And two mistakes leading to goals. So, some defense. How about Jimenez? Has he made any mistakes? Let's go stats. 23 mistakes, but yeah, none leading to goals as of yet. So um, he's a bit more solid, but of course he played he's played less time. So keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, those are the things you got to really look at. And as you know, Rooney is happy to stay now. He's on still on he's still unhappy, of course. Um, you can see negatives. He feels he's not getting any coaching attention, and yeah, unhappy being stripped of the captaincy. But hopefully, over time, he'll get over that. He's still generally like he's not happy, like he's not unhappy of being transfer or wanting to leave or something. So, yeah, if he plays some good games, we start to win some games, he'll get back happy. I hope anyway. So, yeah, we're going to this game. Uh, West Brom, we are favourites. West Brom sitting like that mid table, but if they win, yeah, they could just leapfrog Tottenham, I guess. But. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we need to win this because the pressure's on from Arsenal and Chelsea uh, below us. So, look at their team. It's 
beatable. Uh, Barahino, you think he should be rated well in the game. He started well this Premier League season. Um, he's actually doing really well, enjoying watching him play. Uh, also, Belant has dropped because he's playing terrible. Or no, The Chelsea game, he had like a 5.6 rating. So I've brought uh, a more reliable in terms of experience in Johnny Evans. Because, yeah, Belanta, he just had a terrible game. But, yeah, uh, Barahino, maybe I'll just tight mark him. Uh, show on to weaker foot. The other players aren't very dangerous, uh, in my view. Uh, but, yeah, if I just go, for example, Belanta, where... I'll show you recent, at least he's in, he is improving, so he's going to be a good center back for us without a doubt, but I have to manage this way. When a player has a bad game, I have to drop him, unless he's like a, like a Van Persie or something, like uh, completely one of our best players. Like, he had a really bad game, 5.6, so he can't be rewarded. You have to show that kind of discipline as a manager to know that's not right. And what we'll do here, we'll go passionately... No, assertively, I expect nothing but a win from this match. Uh, Juan Mata and Van Persie are motivated. That is good. Uh, two of our key players, and yeah, hopefully we can get the points here uh, today, all three points, and hopefully Rooney gets back um, and does well. Carrick, Mata. What's the point of showing that? Jimenez throw in. Back to Mata. Oh, poor, I don't know, my passing so bad lately of our team. Barahina, see that... That's what led to the chance there, the misplaced pass in midfield. I don't know why. Maybe I need to work on, I don't know, ball control or something in training. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be going together well um, at the minute. Someone's picked up an injury already. It's Rojo, unfortunately. Depay, play it! Oh, so close. Oh, Jimenez, good ball for Quadrado! Oh, so close. Ooh, that was a close chance. They play it all the way back to Olsen. Oh, could be dangerous. Van Persie. Go, Robin. Robin Van Persie. Oh, what the hell happened? He like he stopped running to let their goalkeeper get it. What the hell? What was a chance there? Oh, they play it through Varela. Oh, good save, Valdez. Good save. That's why I signed you. Experienced. That's what he is. He's real good goalkeeper. He can save us. That could have been the difference. That could have easily been a goal. Come on, we aren't playing the best here. We've had a few chances here and there, but nothing too substantial. And yeah, Rojo injured. Probably going to have to make a change. Uh, see, Evans, that's the difference looking calm. And unfortunately, Carrick has picked up an injury. But luckily, we can just easily bring... Or, or Witzel or Herrera. Mm, I want Herrera, someone cool in midfield who can actually pass. And that is training well. You see, his attributes are going up in training, so... He's obviously, yeah, performing well, so he'll do good. I hope. Mm, yeah, I'm going to push him to support because, yeah, we need to push on for a chance. And Herrera will say, show me what you're good tonight. Yeah, expect a performance. Come on. We're going to have to, yeah, team talk. We'll go aggressively and say, I'm far from pleased. Get that good reaction. See how the lads come in half-time. We're going to the second half now. Just need to push on. Need a better performance than this. Oh, Varela, he's running. Oh, I'm scared he may do something with um, Rojo injured. Might bring on Luke Shaw coming back from his injury, actually. Come on, push forward. Quadrado finds Van Persie. Rooney! That's a goal. Wayne Rooney. Oh, Why? I hate, I'd rather just not see it, just skip that, <laughs> honestly, don't need to get my hopes up, it's, oh, I guess technically he was offside, and it would have been so good for Rooney's confidence as well, damn, come on, and they've got Lescott, Lescott is one of their centre backs, surely we have to score, Berahino, Varela, oh, good save, Valdez, but why are we playing crap? That's what I want to know. Marcos Rojo, come on. Um, let's bring on, yeah, Luke Shaw for him. Uh, who's Falcao? Who's, both of my strikers have played crap, but Rooney, just because he's morale's poor. We'll bring on Falcao, come on, Falcao. Van Persie dropped back to a more creative role as a complete forward support. 
You know he can play there, so I won't push the wingers up yet. Luke Shaw, pressure off. Falcao will go passionately and say, show me what you got tonight. And yeah, we'll go with those subs. Because that's it. That's all I can do. And if anything, we'll go with the team talk and say, assertively, show some passion. Come on, they, they haven't showed any at all in this game. Really. And going into the final 30 minutes, come on, we got to step up. Jimenez with the throw-in. Quadrado finds Van Persie. Oh! Oh, that should have been to number nine. That should have been Falcao's, that ball. Whew. I was shocked when it passed him. Van Persie. What was that? Jones gets it back, though. Luke Shaw on the ball. Back from his injury. Finds Jimenez. Van Persie, Herrera, Quadrado, Falcao's in there. It's Depe, Memphis Depay, fourth goal of the season. And it's well done by Quadrado. And, new, of course, new signings combining there on opposite wings. Quadrado, he's a great crosser of the ball. Look at that. And then there was Depay, Memphis Depay. <laughs> what an impact. Quadrado, Jimenez, finds Herrera, Mata, Van Persie. <laughs> he's left to finish it. And he finds the back of the net. A quick via double from us. Uh, Van Persie puts his 16th goal away this season. He has been amazing. And that Jimenez, just a nice little pass there. Herrera set up Marta to smash the shot. And yeah, Van Persie was set to pounce on that. Great finish. And yeah, a striker signing next season is going to be so crucial. Like, we ever have Fal Falcao is going to be going. And then we have Rooney, who's yeah, morale up and down, kind of. And now he's down. <laughs> and Wilson, will he be good enough? Not sure. We've got that Raskaldani guy coming as well, but not sure if he's world-class enough. But here, of course, we should get the win. I'll just leave this. Keep on. I'll change the control here. Just yeah, maintain possession a bit more and be wary of counters uh, from West Brom. And, of course, the injury proneness of Van Persie. Who knows? Oh, Jones. Why do you have to be dumb? Just, you don't need to. You don't need to do that. Then you're going to be missing for the next game. Ah, uh, why? Luke Shaw, can he play? Ah, oh, he can't play centre-back. I was going to put three. I'll just... That's all I can do, because the rest of the players aren't defenders. And we've used three subs. We just go and defend with him, I guess. Van Persie's injured as well. Horrendous. So we're going to have to go that way. One centre back, then the two full backs. There's n nothing more I can actually do. If we can score here to finish it, though. Come on, Depay. Jimenez. Luke Shaw. Back to Depay. Herrera. Van Persie! Oh my god. He's injured, and he almost scored an amazing goal. But they've got a corner here. Well defended, Herrera. Pocanoli. It's Varela. It's Samaras. What a save, Valdez. What a save. He's came in. He's done real well. He's been a real good keeper. Experienced. And that's shown. Falcao. Herrera. Mata. Depay. Yeah, no one's going to score from here. And like I said with Valdez, like on paper, it's it looks good getting a high potential goalkeeper. But experience nothing can beat experience especially top level playing for Barcelona Champions League football uh, winning titles of Barcelona in the league all that kind of stuff that's there's nothing that can beat that in my opinion like I said it will look good on paper and um, for the squad building for the future to get a young guy in and I am anyway uh, through Liali but yeah Valdez um, his experience is unmatched so, it was a good win to get there, because now we're only two points away from second. So, here we are for the first leg of the semi-final in the Capital One Cup at home to Southampton. It'll be good to get a few goals ahead, uh, so we won't have to worry about the next game, because we do have some point, yeah, important games surrounding, like, FA Cup, like, all these cup matches. So, the next episode will be the game of the Cups as well, FA Cup fourth round and the semi-final. But after that, important league games, like Tottenham and Liverpool, two games in a row. So, but after that, a bit of an easy run. You can see Hull, Stoke, Burnley, Southampton, and yeah, to the run to the end of the season... 
got some important games. So, yeah, we're really kicking on now. And don't forget, it's almost March. The date for the youth intake is, well, it's not almost March, like February, then March. Uh, it's it's pr- getting closer for the youth intake, which is actually a week earlier this year on 5th of March. So, yeah, watch out for some, hopefully, some good talents, the new future, uh, yeah, the faces of Manchester United. But for now... Um, yeah, yeah, that's something I really like uh, to focus on, like region days and all of that. So hopefully get some good talents. Again, remains to be seen. But uh, for now, we're going to set up this team, uh, bring in some younger types. Like Wilson coming in, he's been improving. Uh, you know, he actually finished um, his tutoring with Van Persie, and now I'm tutoring by Falcao. Um, he's still only got the 13 determination and, yeah, 18 determination from Falcao, who's just came back for, yeah, coming back from his injury, lacking match fitness. So you think, yeah, that's going to make James Wilson, yeah, James Wilson only better. He's gone up to 15 finishing now, and is he still 19? Yep, still 19. He turned 19 in December, uh, first of December. So he's got basically a whole year now of being 19. He's going to grow a lot more as a player, and yeah, finishing 15 already. I could see that like something like 17 or 18, and lightning pace as well. He'll be real good. So. Um, yeah, I reckon we should go in here. We've got a lot of missing players. Van Persie, Di Maria, Will Hughes, uh, Phil Jones, Raphael come back real soon as well. Luke Shaw, uh, try and give him a full game here so he can get back to full fitness. Uh, great opportunity against his old team, against Southampton, yeah. And it's a good it's a good situation for Falcao to be tutoring Wilson, and they're both starting in this game. And yeah, I reckon they should do well. Let's see if they have some good combinations because obviously they've been working together in training. It will be very interesting to see. I'll just go on no opposite instructions. There's no one really amazing in their team I don't think so we'll push on uh, Valdez has been real good so far if I click on him how many cleanies has he got he's only conceded two goals so he's got yeah two clean sheets um, yeah he's a real good signing like I was talking about so now we'll go in James Wilson's been real good eight ass- he's got eight goals but five assists <laughs> he's been insane uh, we'll go passionately especially in cup games as well so this will suit him He's been yeah, playing consistently in Capital One Cup, so it's only fair to play him. Let's do it for the fans. Uh, Falcao gaining confidence along with Johnny Evans. Uh, let's go John Stones, come back for a right back. Yeah, go into right back for this game. Yeah, at centre back, I don't know. Um, it really depends. Because, yeah, he, he hasn't been too impressive of late, if I'm honest. He's made some errors and that kind of stuff. So, But, yeah, other players have as well. It's not just, yeah, I'm not just singling out him. Come on, tackle. Rodriguez is on. Don't score. Oh, good save, Valdez. Whoa, that was a good save. Like, I'm sure you might have thought that would have been a goal as well. I was expecting it to be, but Victor Valdez has came up. And you can tell ever since uh, the issue has been resolved. Oh, oh, it would have been good if he saved that. It would have been good. I was talking about it, but... See, it says, yeah, Valdez would have been disappointed to yeah, to concede near post. As soon as I was praising him, I was praising Valdez and... As soon as I started doing that, that's when we conceded. But, yeah, who was there? Who was the main defense? Yeah, Belanta, come on. Belanta, sure. Uh, near post. Not great, I guess. Do I don't think away goals count in Capital One Cup, do they? I don't think they count. Because if it was, like, Champions League, it will be, yeah, effect. Away goals are very crucial. Come on, the defending seems all over the place right now. It's not as, yeah, compact as it used to be. It doesn't look as good. Something in this game is not right (laughs) that I can see so far. But win this, Evans, well done. Oh, Wilson, look at that pace. He just bursts through. And he still maintains possession. Falcao. Ooh. Evans, Belanta. Ah, couldn't get it through. But Witzel wins in midfield. But again, my passing lately has been so bad of the team. But we get it back, Falcao. Ooh. That was like a 50-50 chance, I reckon. But yeah, the passing lately has not been good at all. Come on, we need a goal back. Wilson trying to intercept there. Belanta's got a knock as well. Come on, we need a lift. Team talk assertively get creative just create something Vitzel Depay Memphis what he's going to do play oh he has a shot it was a decent strike but yeah goalkeeper was always going to save that and we're getting some injuries here as well this is not good at all Luke Shaw good ball for Wilson oh Gardosh save that 
Come on. Herrera, well done. It's just a wasted ball, though. Come on, Yanazai. Falcao. Yanazai, get past. Oh, good ball! What a ball by Adnan Yanazai to create it for James Wilson. And yeah, he was there just to apply the finish. He had a good run, of course. That's He was doing his job there. But the ball by Yanazai, that basically made him run. He willed him to it. Look at that. That's perfect. That's perfect from Yanazai. Whoa. Just before half time as well. And I'm still going to say I'm not happy because it's, yeah, we're not playing well at all. We're playing actually pretty bad. Uh, just Yanazai, that was insane ball there. He's going to be an amazing player. Come on, Falcao. And of course, he's natural as a center attacking mid, but we're really molding him into that kind of right winger now. And he's, yeah, uh, getting better uh, game by game. And now Memphis Depay, what is he going to do here? Nothing. <laughs> well, that's disappointing. Uh, Balanta to Evans. Yanazai, Falcao loses it, but Yanazai finds Depay. Wilson, Falcao! It's go oh my god, how close to <laughs> how close do we need to go? But we're on the attack right away, first minute in the half there. So yeah, I reckon uh, we can push on for a second and yeah, get the win in this game. Come on. Tackle. Herrera. I'm not sure about Balanta. He he's injured and still wins it back, but again it goes back to them. Cork. Plays it to no one. Valdez just clears that to Yanazai. So Yanazai, he just heads it to stones like that. He just touches amazing. And look at that. Witzel. Falcao. Oh, my God. <laughs> so much chances in this game. Especially second half here. Early in the second half as well. And all these injuries. We've got two knocks. Balanta, you can see as well. Here are stones. What is he doing? Puts a cross in. Ah, poor cross. Not the best of crosses there. But Stones, again, he's real good defensively. I reckon when he gets confident, a bit more experience, he'll be he'll be class. Doesn't make as much errors, and yeah, he'll he'll be good when he gets that experience. Come on. Oh! Own goal, really? Really? I know people have been talking about own goals in FM, especially beta stage. Oh, come on. He just... That's just stupid. Why would he do that? That's that's so weird. So we're going to have to make some changes. We've got oh, so many injuries. Balanta off after that error. His performances have been definitely dropping of recent times. We'll just bring in, yeah, the cavalry. We'll bring in all the best players. We'll bring in Mata. He'll come for Vito. Even Herrera will just... Uh, bring him a support role instead of defend. And Rooney, bring on Rooney for Wilson. Yeah, I think so. Come on, Wayne. I just bring, yeah, Falcao advance forward and, yeah, Rooney. Both more, yeah, both more suitable in those roles. So, Rojo, we're going to say passionately, show me what you got tonight. What? Why does he feel stressed? He's an experienced player. Uh, Rooney, passionate. I have faith in you. Come on. Yeah, it said on the commentary there, John Stones is winning everything in the air today. That's what I mean. He's been good in that facet of the game. Depay. Oh, we're not really getting too many clear chances. They're like 50-50 opportunities. Stones again uh, wins a corner. Oh, Herrera! And Herrera. <laughs> you wouldn't expect him to come up for a header from a corner, but he did. Um... And it's good for Rooney to get the assist there as well. Uh, just need him to play well. That will obviously help him uh, feel a bit more happier um, at the team. And Herrera got up. They had a player fullback on the line. How Couldn't he have cleared that? I don't know. Do you think he should have? Just judging off that, I think, yeah, could have cleared that. But we need to bring on one more. Make one more change. Is it Depay? Uh, yeah, hasn't played too well. Uh, we're going to bring on... Didn't I bring on Mata? Obviously, I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll bring him there, left mid. And we'll see how he can do. See if he can get a winner for us or create a chance or just something. I want to see the more of the same from you. He knows what he has to do anyway. He's class. And you can see Luke Shaw. Yeah, low in condition and not playing the best. But, yeah, he's going to get much needed 
um, match fitness uh, from this full game here, 90 minutes played. Uh, they're making a change here. And Rodriguez injured as well. Mm, looks like it's just going to be 2-2. Yeah, looks that way. Looks like we're going to have to beat them at home, though. Um, yeah, at their home. That's what I mean. <laughs> like when we're playing away. So, disappointed we couldn't win that, though. We're going to have to work hard. But it's only Capital One Cup. It's not crucial at all. Weren't good enough opportunity to motivate them for the next game. That's all. We had 14 shots on target. It's not like we played get bad. Like We definitely did not... Well, in terms of creating chances, we didn't play bad, but sometimes, yeah, um, the passing isn't fantastic. Well, passes, yeah, 77% completed. There's 72, so they're even less. But, yeah, sometimes we just give away, yeah, crucial, in crucial areas and just stupid passes sometimes. But that will be it. Uh, for now, QPR want keen on loan. I did accept that. We failed to make chances pay. Belanta's injured for two to three weeks. Might not be a bad thing. I'll, I'll probably even leave him out longer, give him some reserve games because, yeah, he's just not performing up the scratch right now. Not the Belanta that I know. So that is basically it. Stick around for the next episode. We will play FA Cup game against Nottingham Forest and then um, the second leg against Southampton. will be interesting to see what happens in those games and yeah, additional episodes yeah, getting really important in the Premier League, important games as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you guys next time.